Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. We are here in glorious Paris for our huge last 16 clash against Paris Saint-Germain tomorrow night. Uh, I can't wait. I think that it is imperative that we pick the correct team to get the right result against them. All we need to do is score a goal. I think that we can go through so long as we get something to take back to Stamford Bridge because I'm worried that they, I'm pretty sure that they will score against us. They will score at Stamford Bridge. So we need something in the bag. So I don't think we can afford to go too defensive. So I've picked a team that I think may surprise some of you. Um, I think the obvious place to start is obviously the keeper and in goal for us will be Thibaut Courtois. I think that he is a fine keeper and somebody who we need to be on f excellent form tomorrow because I think it's fair to say that we're going to be under the cosh. They are going to come at us, they are electric going forward. You know, When you look at the players that they have going forward, players, players like Di Maria, players like uh, Ibrahimovic, we are going to be under it. So Thibaut Courtois has to play and has to have a good game. I'm convinced he will. Um, moving across, this is where it gets tricky for us because our captain has picked up a knock at the worst possible time in a game where we didn't need him to pick up a knock. After what happened to Kurt Zuma, our captain, our hero, is not in my starting lineup. I'm sorry to say it, it really is painful because we know how important he is. But I've had to go for our centre half pairing of Ivanovic and Cahill. I know what you're thinking, but just cast your minds back to what happened in the new camp and you know when we went to Munich. We've had problems in the defence before and we have shone through and got through it and come out triumphant. That can happen again. And I think Gary Cahill played very well against Newcastle when he came on. He will be chomping at the bit to get a performance under his belt at the, on this stage. He needs to be playing in games of this magnitude to get himself into Roy Hodgson's squad to come back to France, back to here in the summer. So Gary Cahill will be playing in this game and I think that he has it in him to play brilliantly. I think. Branislav Ivanovic will play alongside him. I've always thought that Branislav Ivanovic is a better uh, centre-half than he is full-back. So by that logic alone, this is fine. Therefore, as I'm sure you can deduce, Babaram will play left-back. I think he played very well the other day. I think he's a very, very good player. He just needs a run in the side. And I think he's another one who will want the opportunity to play in games of this magnitude. So. Now's your chance, Bubba. You're playing in the last 16 of the Champions League for the Champions of England against the Champions of France. It doesn't get bigger. Let's see what you can do. Uh, obviously, right back will be uh, Cesar Aspilicueta, who is a finest right back in the game, in my opinion. I think he is a marvellous football player and no doubt in my mind he will not let us down. This is where it gets interesting. I've gone for quite a defensive pairing here. I've gone for Cesc Fabregas and John Obi Mikel. The reason that I've gone for that, it's, in fact, I suppose it's not quite as defensive as you would think, um, but I've played two there. The reason that I've had to do that is because Nemanja Matic is out. It's a shame that he's out because this is his kind of game, but his form hasn't been particularly good of late. John Obi Mikel, this, is, this game's made for him. We're going to struggle to get the ball. We're going to need a player to break down their forward momentum, and he's the man to do that. You know, He wins the ball brilliantly. He very rarely gives the ball away. He covers ground excellently, and he breaks down opposition play. So uh, I'm convinced that John Obi Mikel will have a good game. We're, we are relying on him having an excellent game, but there's no reason why he won't. Cesc Fabregas has also found a bit of form lately. I think that he really was fantastic against Arsenal not long ago. I think that he shone against Newcastle and controlled the midfield. There's no reason why he can't do that again out here. You know, he's going to be up against it. We know how excellent they are. Players like, you know, Motta and whoever, they're brilliant. They're so good. But Fabregas is on that level. He just needs to rediscover his fine form and there's no reason why he can't do that. I've mentioned before, but we really do need to score a goal here. And that's why I haven't gone quite as defensive as we could. You know, we did have other options in the middle, but I think we need Fabregas playing there to push on. Slightly further forward, I have gone for an interesting trio of Pedro. I think that he deserves a place in this team. I think that he has played very well and uh, you know, he's coming off the back of good performance. He needs to play because when you play well, you deserve... Wow, look at that. A boat's just going across the Seine. How romantic. Um, but I think that Pedro needs to play. He scored two goals. It's, it's not right to drop him off the back of that. So I think that Pedro needs to play in this game. I'm sure he'll play well. Obviously, William will play. So Pedro on one side, William on the other. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Oscar would be the obvious person to play behind the striker, but that's not what I've gone for. I've gone for Eden Hazard. I think Hazard has a point to prove here. I think he said something that, that have upset some Chelsea fans. I'm not taking it personally at all. I understand exactly what he's saying. He says when a club, club like PSG come in for you, it's hard to not consider that. He's played in this league before. He has an affinity with this league and this country. So I understand what he means. He's not saying he wants to leave. He just says that it's of interest. So I think that he has a point to prove here. So I'm going to play him centrally, which I think 
is a very attacking team, I'm sure you'll agree, but I think that he has it in him to have an excellent performance here. And if he plays well, we will score a goal. It's as simple as that. Up front, obviously, leading the line is the master, the uh, talismanic, the mercurial Diego Costa. His form of late has been one of the shining moments of our season, actually. I think that he has played so brilliantly and he has given us a glimmer of hope to be optimistic about ending this season with some silverware. So Diego Costa leading the line against our old friend David Luiz. We know that battle, you know, it's a battle of, uh, they know each other well, they grew up in Brazil. Obviously Costa's not Brazilian, but they, you know, they certainly know each other well. And I'm convinced that Diego Costa has it in him to upset David Luiz. I like Luiz, he's, he's, he was a lion of Munich, but we know he has a ricket in him. That's why we got rid of him. So fingers crossed, David Luiz will do what he does best. And that is trip Diego Costa up as he goes through on goal in the penalty area. And who knows what will happen then. Right, I'm on the Seine, I'm on the bridge that signifies love. This is a bridge where you come and you write your name for lovers. I'm going to go now and I'm going to go and see this beautiful city from the top of the Eiffel Tower. See you tomorrow. Come on you blues. We can do it.